Hey guys, it's Barry from the Yamar Academy. Today we're talking changing your travel motor oil on your Yamar series excavators. It is the same on all machines. We're gonna go ahead and do it on our VIO 55 right now. All right guys, the tools you're gonna need are our 5 16 Allen socket, safety gear, you're gonna need new oil, 1.27 quarts for both left and right side, and an oil jug to store your used oil. All right, so the first thing you wanna do, make sure your drain bolt here is down at the very bottom of the travel motor. It makes it easier to drain the travel motor. Before we get started, make sure you go ahead and glove up for safety. What we're gonna do is we're gonna pull this top drain plug, and then we're gonna go down to our bottom one and pull it as well. Got my 5 16 let's go ahead and get started. Next, we're gonna go ahead and grab our oil container, stick it up underneath our travel motor to make sure we catch all that oil. Go ahead, grab your 5 16 stick it back into that bottom drain plug, go ahead and pull it out, and let the oil drain out into your container. All right, guys, once you're done, make sure you dispose of your oil properly. So when it comes time to change your travel motor oil, make sure you get with the authorized Yanmar parts dealer and ensure you've got genuine Yanmar travel motor oil. All right, so what we're gonna do next is we wanna pour some of this travel motor oil in to make sure we flush all the old oil out. As you can see, it's coming out the bottom there, so that lets me know that it has flushed all the old oil out. So what we'll do now is we'll go ahead and put our drain plug back in and get ready to fill our travel motor. Go ahead and tighten it up. Then what we wanna do is we wanna pull this center one. That lets us know when the travel motor is full. What we wanna look for is the oil to come out of that center plug. That lets us know that the travel motor is full of oil. Once it comes out, we can go ahead and put all of our plugs back in and tighten them down. Go ahead and tighten them down. All right, so now that we got the travel motor filled, let's go ahead and wipe down the outside. Then what we wanna do is we wanna grab our torque wrench. We're gonna set it to 28.2 to 29.7 foot-pounds. All right, so there you have it, guys. Quick, simple, easy task. It's something that's very important if you wanna keep your machine rolling for years to come. Until next time, I'll see you at the Yamar Academy.